people, welcome to the 8th of February. We're getting it right today. <laughs> it's 8th of February already. It is Thursday. It is freezing. I am putting off taking Lenny a walk. I'm so cold. I know once I'm out there, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. I've, I've kind of dressed up for the occasion because I am going to take, as soon as I finish chatting to you, I might even take you with me on the walk. Who knows? But we'll have a chat now before we go out because I don't know how cold it's going to be out there. We have had an amber weather warning again. It's supposed to snow, who knows. We had a flurry of snow again overnight. We did last night and the night before, so I don't know. But I just wanted to share a couple of things with you. Actually, I should go and bring my, my bracelet in with me. Hold on till I get my bracelet because I got the wee gadget from Amazon to put the bracelet on. So we're going to do it together together forever you and i okay hold on one second i'll be right back okay here is the bracelet like i said to you i intend to wear mine you know and as long as it's not uh a day that i've got heavy housework i'm gonna wear mine so <sighs> i don't know how much i'm gonna be bothered to put this on and off all the time but we shall put it on once we open it. i've not got any cream or anything on my hands i'm desperate to put cream on my hands right first of all i want to share a card with you that i got from a friend of mine, Leslie. It is the most beautiful card and it says special delivery on it. And I wanted to share it because I have not had a Valentine's card for, I couldn't, I can't, I, you know, I can't even tell you the last time I got one. I honestly cannot, Rico gave up on them years ago. My dad used to always send me flowers for Valentine's. My dad was a, was a, a romantic in that way. He was very, all like always buying flowers for my mum and things like that. So Rico was never, I think any time he did, he just felt he had to because that's what I was used to and now it's like, go and get your own. <laughs> so this is very special, but it's not only a Valentine's card, it's a birthday card and it says, Dear Andre, first wanted to wish you a happy Valentine's and a happy birthday. Enjoy your special day. Leslie, where do you see this? Look, Wee. isn't that beautiful? Look, oh, look, happy Valentine's Day and happy birthday. I love it, I love it, and it's so special. So, yeah, thank you so much, Leslie. I hope you don't mind me sharing that with everybody, but I just thought it was too lovely. And I haven't had a Valentine's card in such a long time it was really really nice to receive oh by the way no in saying that i do remember the last time i got something for valentine's i was at work and somebody left a rose on my car that was the last time i ever received anything for valentine's so i'm very excited to share that with everybody so the whole world knows that i actually got something for valentine's my next item and my items from Amazon. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me open up my ancient. Hold on, so that's from Amazon. And this is my ancient and brave collagen. Ugh. Oh, it's always. Oh, there's so much packaging. There we go. You've all seen this loads of times. My collagen. Always feels so special the way it arrives. So the wee leaflets. And. That's the little box. There we go. So that's the collagen I take, which I do link most times in my description box. It is ancient and brave, true collagen. You, you people that follow me all the time will be sick of um, saying that. Okay, let's see what I got from Amazon. So I got teeth whitening strips. So I'm going to go through the process with you. Um, with these just to see how we go. I think I'm going to use them at night time so brush my teeth at night before I go to bed and then you know once I start my fast that process and and then start using them. So uh, this the doctor then is the one that you get that thing that you press and you've got like the light as well so you put the gel in the gum shield thing and you put it on and all of that. But I was reading the reviews on the gum thing and it put me on the bottom of the snow. It's coming heavy. Oh no. Uh, so I started reading the reviews on that and what happened was, so I put in the question in Amazon, can you get refills for this? Because I wanted to see and 
I was shocked at the replies. It was saying like, every time you go online to see if you can get the gel refills, and it said, if you write a review, they'll send you free gels. But every time you go online, the gels are sold out. That, I was like that, no. No, 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 no. Why, why? So I'm not gonna believe all the good reviews on it. Anyway, I decided to try this. This was not cheap. So you get 40 strips and I think this was about 20 pounds. So you know I'm gonna tell you if it works. Here's, here's my teeth, <laughs> people. That's the color of my teeth. So keep a look out for my teeth. I'm gonna put, I think I'll do them at night. I think that's the best time. Incidentally, did you know, I didn't know this, right? But when you brush your teeth, you're not supposed to rinse out the toothpaste. I didn't know that. And you're not supposed to use mouthwash um, immediately after brushing your teeth. So I used to brush my teeth, rinse my mouth out, then rinse my mouth out with um, my mouthwash. Apparently, according to a dentist, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, um, you're supposed to brush your teeth before you eat something to do with the acids in your mouth which is something i must do like first thing i do before i go downstairs i like to brush my teeth it's like i have to do it get washed brush my teeth that's my routine yeah. so you're supposed to brush your teeth before you eat in the morning and you're supposed to use your mouthwash before you brush your teeth because of the fluoride and all that in your toothpaste it's supposed to stay and protect your teeth for so many hours before you rinse it out so basically use your mouthwash before you brush your teeth which i don't do what i what i'm doing now is i brush my teeth and it was really hard to break the habit of rinsing out the toothpaste i, I feel as if i have to keep going back and spitting out the toothpaste because I just feel it's very mouth and because I'm on a fast I don't want to be swallowing any toothpaste <laughs> such an overthinker such an overthinker anyway oh. I'll start using these and I'll let you know how I get on with them so they are the premium teeth whitening strips sensitive care plus zero sensitivity safe on enamel up to eight times brighter teeth I think that's a bit far-fetched Anyway, let's see, let's see the most important part. So here is the, my laptop's on. Here is the gadget that I got. This is what it looks like. It feels quite a solid gadget. It was only like four pounds something. So, and they were all like that. Or you can get a whole load of them. So I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I do know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some sellotape at the, mm. Oh, it's quite, it's quite stiff. I'm going to add sellotape at the edge of that because I don't want it scratching my Van Cleef and Arpels brace. It's quite a solid thing. It's quite a, this is a tip that my essay at Cartier um, gave me with the screwdriver. She, ah, caught my nail. She said to put tape on the screwdriver so you you don't scratch the I think I put too much on you don't scratch the the gold anyway so that's one end ow let's cut less for the other end and so we're just putting in tape so that's what I'm gonna do nobody's told me to do this but I'm, I'm assuming if I was advised to do this at Cartier then I'm assuming this is a good idea right and I know lots of people have said you know put sellotape the bangle down and all of that oh, Watch is going crazy. It must be my Instagram. Hi, Jules. It's Jules liking my posts on Instagram. Hi. It's going buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Thank you for liking my posts, Jules. She must have just woken up. <laughs> oh, just had time to look at the Instagram. Right. So that's that. I don't know now if I've just thickened it too much. Where's 
we have that and we have the bracelet so basically you're supposed to hold if i remember correctly you're supposed to hold you're supposed to hold it all right let me click it on first So you're supposed to put it on the receiving end which is what I was doing right but what they were showing is you clasp it there at the end but as you can see right with the Van Cleef there's not much room for you to clasp this tool there so the ne next best place would be there and I'm definitely not clasping it on the on the mother of pearl so and then my other problem is is trying to pull that bit back because this is the problem right this is this is tiny so this part right let's focus right can we see it it's really really small plus i've got these flipping nails right <laughs> so everything is making it a lot harder but we are going to try so the receiving end i'm going to go to the bit that's right, as near to that as possible I get it you hold it there right let's just bring it round here okay and then my problem is okay trying to right, see I'd have to I need to pull this back before I bring oh so I for me to get hold of it I have I'm getting annoyed I'm getting sweaty I'm getting warm so I need to pull let's get some light on <laughs> right so now I've pulled the class back so normally this is what I would do and I would just put, this is how I would I have to get the right so Hold that there, hold that there, bring it round. It's not working people, it's a flipping gimmick. I'm, I'm <laughs> let me see if I can do it off camera, right? And I'll come back to you and I'll wait, you know, because to me this is no easier than me trying to do it myself because of the amount of space you have there i'll try it again and i'll let you know but for now no thank god it was only four pounds you do have the option to return things but for me it's a no-no but how beautiful is my bangle <laughs> so that's what i've got to share with you i'm going to go and take lily a walk and yeah thursday what did i do i did my yoga today so hard it's really agony for me when I'm doing um, yoga. It's really, really hard for me. Okay, we are out, aren't we, Lily? It's still snowing just a wee bit, but it's it's more kind of that wet snow. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Um, but yeah, we are out. And just as I thought, once you're out, you absolutely love it. It's the getting out, it's like working out, it's the thought that's worse than actually doing it. And once you've done it, it feels great. Anyway, I'm all cozied up. I decided to put a different hat on today. <laughs> Not that, what's it, Rico calls it? Uh, tea cozy. So I was just watching a video from Tamara on her latest Van Cleef purchases. And weirdly enough, she was talking about Van Cleef giving you the ick, which is the kind of TikTok thing that's going around just now. And I was talking about it in last night's video. So I wasn't copying her, but anyway, because she also spoke about other YouTubers copying what she does. But not that it would make much difference to her if I copy her or not. But 
just putting it out there. I did have the conversation before I watched <laughs> Tamara's video about the ick, about Van Cleef and it giving you the ick. And actually she spoke about the same things that I spoke about, about uh, um, so many fakes of it. Anyway, this hat looks not bad. I'm not talking about that one, but this one looks not bad on me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh, the tears are running down my face because of the cold. It is bitter. Hello and welcome to the 9th of February. Oh. Lily, what did you do? You farted. Come on, you're sitting on my lap and you farted. That's naughty. <coughs> right, I'm going to have to get her out. <laughs> we are here to pick up our Georgie from school. It's a miserable day, it's raining and everything and all of that. Anyway, it is Friday. I did high rocks today, or so-called high rocks at the gym. Absolutely loved it. Burnt over like 400 calories, just like within 45 minutes. So it was really, really good, thoroughly enjoyed it. Then I did a circuits class, which was another, I think 45 minutes. So now we are here to pick up Georgie. I actually went home, I showered, I broke my fast, did about a 20 hour fast today. And um, so we're now here to pick up Georgie. Aren't we Lily? You gonna say hello to everybody? Here she is, right there. My baby girl. Ain't you? You want out, don't you? But then you're gonna get all your paws all muddy. Stop raining. Need it to stop raining. So it is the 9th of February, I think it's about 10 years. I don't know why, but that date sticks in my head that when I bought my first Chanel bag. <laughs> That's how much of a big deal it was for me. I'm sure it was the 9th of February, about 10 years ago. On my 49th, I bought it for my, I was planning to buy it for my 50th, but I bought it for my, but it was my 49th, I think. I think, yeah. Something like that. You don't really care anyway, but yeah. <sighs> right. Should we start walking to get our Georgie in the rain? What we do for our grandchildren? See, if that was my children, I would have parked right outside the school because it was raining. But no, Georgie specifies she wants me to park here because this is where her friend parks. So that's what we're up to today. Okay, Georgie is away. Oh no, we are home. I didn't even tell you where we've come home. We've played, we've did it. So I thought I'd do a quick outfit. We all know this jump. I've had it for years from TK Maxx. And my leggings, leggings, they're actually trousers, not really leggings, from, where are they from people? Zara. There, there we go, that's them. That was today's outfit. You know, that's my favourite type of... Oh! I've got an update on this in the gadget sleeve. Hold on, let me put you... Let's go on the ring. <laughs> this is where you normally sit, right? Oh, you can't see it. Right, okay. You don't want to know, do you? Okay, right. The gadget. I brought it through. What did I... What did I... Uh, there it say. It worked for me first time today. So I managed to catch it right at the end of the receiving end, brought it over and I just clipped it on. I don't know if it's just because I wasn't used to it yesterday when I was trying, I'm just gonna put some hand cream onto my hands because they're feeling a bit dry. This is the L'Occitane. I always keep a tube here because sometimes when I'm showing things, I think, oh my goodness me, your hands look old. And oh gosh, we were talking about age today at the gym. So apparently, <laughs> I'll tell you this funny story. Apparently, so my name's up on the board with how long I've planked. I did the plank for, so just in case you missed it, I did the plank for six minutes, six seconds. I need to stop saying that because somebody's going to come up and beat me. But anyway, so as I was walking out today, one, one of the ladies from the gym said to me, whoa, what was that about that plank? That's amazing, blah, blah, blah. She then said to me, oh, my daughter was asking me, um if I knew who the person was and she explained to her daughter who it was. I don't know if they mentioned my age, if the lady mentioned my age to her daughter, but her daughter then turned around and said to her, it's always these old women that have got the strength. I think that's the first time somebody's referred to me as an old woman. <laughs> I was like, bloody cheek. 
I laughed at it people. I'm still at the stage where I can laugh at those comments which is a good sign. I don't take offence to them. Anyway, I took it as a joke. That's that. Oh, I did my whitening strips. Let me show you. Oh, my necklaces are all tangled up and they annoy me. Right, that's it sorted out. So, last night again, I showed you the teeth whitening strips. So, so if I uploaded that vlog, I'm more confused with my vlogs. I don't know. Anyway, I showed you the teeth whitening strips. So, I did it last night whilst I was watching Love Island. I put a timer on for about an hour. So, it says to leave, them, leave the strips on between 30 and 60 minutes. You know me. I went for the full 60 minutes. And you get one of these gadgets as well, people. It took me forever to work out how to put the gadget in. When I eventually worked it out, it was really good to put the strips in, but apparently it's supposed to dry your teeth and the saliva was just making me salivate. Is that the word? Anyway, it was creating a lot of saliva by the time, even looking at it and I'm going, how did I actually get it in? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that. <laughs> Like that and then you put the strips there and there right initially when i took the strip off i thought oh it does look like it's getting whiter oh my god these batteries right i'm saying initially as soon as i took the strips off i did feel as if my teeth were whiter i don't know like do you remember the pink toothpaste i was using which is the pink toothpaste that i thought created my perioral dermatitis and um, it gave you that initial making your teeth look white but I think it's just an ingredient that was making them look quite temporary so I don't know if this has got the same thing but we shall see so there's a card in there as well I mean I, does anybody actually have yellow teeth your teeth are not yellow I think teeth go more browny than yellow I don't know so it starts at number one that's number one and it goes to number 12 so I don't know there you go so we shall see once I have used all 40 strips but I am kind of careful I'm watching my skin because of the perioral dermatitis just in case this has got something that's going to trigger that off again so I did that last night and I straight away did my mask talking of the mask so this one that everybody's using just now that you see all the influencers using has anybody got it i am considering it um what's it called the body hold on we were discussing it with my daughter-in-law kelly today because the thing that we both dislike about the mask we have is you can't see out of it and i know it's only warping we've seen that the other ones can be just as annoying although you can see out of them the current body mask it retails for about 299 pounds but you follow any of the influences and you can get a 15 percent discount code and that is what puts me off because all these influences rave about it but um they're all getting they're all sponsored aren't they they're all getting paid to talk about it and that's what puts me off i mean i have loved the one that i'm using should i just stick to it i don't know they say this current body one is the strongest one on the market people don't go by what i'm saying i'm just this is i, I don't know if this is fact right this is what i've heard the influencers say but i've also seen jamie genevieve wearing her mask and she used it after she used her skincare and her skin reacted to to the to the mask because she used it with her skincare and apparently her beauty therapist says to her your, your skin you burnt your skin that puts me off i watched another influencer who was talking about the mask and that she was going to do the mask the day before her wedding and then she got up with all this rash on the day of her wedding on her face she says it's because of something she ate in the chinese or whatever it was a reaction to food I don't know, it's things like that that are putting me off. But if you've got that mask, let me know. Does it work? Does it actually do anything? Because I do feel like my one is working. So I don't know if it's worth upgrading to that one. That's that. The other thing is I have been enjoying... This is Tom Ford Bitter Peach. 
I've actually been really, really enjoying it. Oh, in one of my videos, I was talking about my lengths of, what's that? My lengths of London bracelet. And that's it there. I was talking about that. And so it's silver and then it's got one, two, three, four, f is it five or six? One, two, three, five gold rings on it. And all my charms are all solid gold. So I've got the heart on it there, which is solid gold. I love a heart. You know I love a heart. I've got a heart there. Um, I've got my lucky horseshoe there and this, so they're all 18 karat gold and i have an a here and i have my um i there as well also i used to have teddy was talking to me about a charm bracelet that she had i had a charm bracelet that rico got me years and years ago gave it to me as a gift he had bought it off of his godmother beautiful charms beautiful bracelet it was stunning but it wasn't my style and i <laughs> sold it <laughs> i sold it people and um i said to you i'm never gonna wear this i'm really it's beautiful i'm just never ever gonna wear it, it was full of charms so he sold it and put the money towards this and i love this this is me and yeah so i just thought i would add that you know i know this it was, i didn't have any sentimental value towards the bracelet it was something he bought as an investment of his godmother and then when we got married he gave it to me he actually gave it to me on our wedding day <laughs> i think i've got a picture of him putting it on me on our wedding day but it just wasn't me it just wasn't me and I much prefer my diamond ring <laughs> that's just me being honest people right I'm gonna sit and try and do whatever this tag is called luxury lessons I've learned I don't know if I'm a bit old in the tooth to learn any lessons but right, let's leave it here let's try and do the tag let's zhuzh up the hair and then mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm back. I was just sorting my makeup out for the video. I was touching it up, you know, putting makeup over makeup. And I remembered I wanted to share this comment with you because it might help. Um, by the way, thank you for all the great feedback on my get ready with me. I was quite taken aback. I got so many private messages um, of how much you had enjoyed that video. I was like, people actually want to see me put my makeup on me that doesn't have a clue but I've always loved makeup not to the extreme that my daughter-in-law does but I've always loved makeup and just do my own thing <laughs> by the way that's kind of looking half finished now I was in the process of touching it up but let me let me share this because I think it's good anyway so it comes from it's only wall paint and it was on my get ready with me because I was saying that I don't really know how to layer things I mean I know how to cleanse tone and then I use my serum and then I use my moisturizer and then I use whatever primer and then my foundation and in between all of that if I'm using a, a sunscreen I'll use that as well so I'll use my sunscreen before my primer okay so it's only what paint says rule of thumb Always start with the lightest product and work your way through to the thickest. If using a facial oil, that that would be the last product to use after moisturiser. So that would be just too much stuff for me, like an oil. I've never used like an oil. And if ever I have, I always feel as if I need to wipe it off. I don't have, I think I'm still, I'm still lucky enough that my skin is neither dry or oily. I, it's not, I don't have like, it's not really dry, but it is aging, so I, I like to add glow, but not greasiness. Right, she says, I tend to think if you are using actives, then they should go on first, as long as your skin can tolerate them. 
and if possible let them dry as you don't want to dilute the product and I was talking about in my get ready with me that I, I do try and avoid concealers I do like to use them here and I like a concealer for the brightening effect I don't really have major problems under my eyes just you know normal aging is all I have and sometimes it's a little bit darker than I would like it to be it's no big deal for me under my eyes but when you do watch people doing their makeup they're always adding all these concealers and things and, and here and there and da, 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 da. I, I don't feel as if I have anything to conceal so I'm not really big on concealers but I do like to use them for brightening so she says here, have you tried just using your foundation without concealer? Well, I do my, my makeup with my foundation and I feel as if I like, I've added concealer now because it just adds that brightening effect under the eyes. Um, so anyway, have you tried using your foundation without concealer? Concealer can be thicker than foundation, yes. So can settle more into fine lines yes or if you feel that concealer gives you a better coverage then foundation alone just put concealer around your eyes and avoid using foundation in that area the less product around the eyes the better the skin looks whatever the age there we go I just thought I would share that. She adds other things in the comments, like rouge is definitely an old school word. I don't know why, I, when it comes to you talking about blush, I always call it a rouge. Uh, also, she says here about castor oil, because I was talking about adding castor oil, because it's supposed to be good for your eyelashes and all of that. She says, if you do buy castor oil, glass jar without a plastic pump, hexane free h-e-x-a-n-e -E. okay i don't know what that is cold pressed okay for your lashes you would need the tiniest amount on your finger press two fingers together and just dab your lashes takes two seconds and it won't go in your eyes and there we go and then she adds you look fabulous for an old bird <laughs> so thank you very much it's only war paint so I, if anybody else i hope that's helpful so i thought i would share that and that's why i haven't replied to that comment that's the only reason i don't reply to comments straight away i've said that before because it's easier for me to find them if i don't reply to them because that's how i have it set up on my youtube that i can see comments that i haven't reply to so there's two reasons i won't reply to your comments one is um because i'm gonna either talk about them or i want to reference them and the other is because it's rude <laughs> and i'm not gonna waste my time answering it it's the only two reasons right Rico's shouting at me to go and get my dinner he's been busy cooking because it's friday today so i'm gonna go down and see i think we're having chicken provencal but without the cream because we are looking after the old ticker you know this old bird has an old ticker and she's not bad by the way she's she's <laughs> right, i'm gonna go and eat and then i'll come back and finish my makeup and then i'm gonna film if i can be bothered if i've got an oh look look i've worked out that much today it's off i had hit so my target is 720 calories a day i have that set i had that done after my two classes this morning it was done especially after that high rocks class i'm in a good place again at the gym can you tell hmm. 